very good friend, Minister Kono, colleagues from the media. I'm very happy today to welcome Minister Kono to Jakarta. This is Minister Kono's first visit to Indonesia, but of course this is not our first meeting. We have met on several occasions, and our last meeting was just a month ago in Buenos Aires during the G20 Foreign Ministers meeting. Minister Kono and I have just finished a bilateral meeting and the sixth Indonesia-Japan strategic dialogue. Our meeting today also took place as we celebrate the 60th anniversary Indonesia-Japan diplomatic relation. Indonesia and Japan are not just strategic partner. We are also two important strategic countries in the region. Our partnership contributes not only to the prosperity of the people of Indonesia and Japan, but also to regional peace, stability, and prosperity. Minister Kono and I had an open and very productive discussion on the strategic bilateral issues on economic and political as well as the security cooperation and also regional and global issues such as ASEAN, Indo-Pacific, Korean Peninsula, and the Palestinian issue. On the economic cooperation, our partnership has continued to grow in trade, investment, and tourism. Indonesia-Japan trade value reached US dollar 33.03 billion in the year 2017 making Japan Indonesia's second biggest trade partner. On investment, Japan investment in Indonesia reached US dollar 5 billion in 2017, also the second biggest investor in Indonesia in 2017. Our discussion today therefore stressed on how to further strengthen this positive momentum working toward making Indonesia as a production base for Japanese manufacturing products for the third market, including ASEAN. In this regard, we agreed to intensify and expedite the general review on Indonesia-Japan Economic Partnership Agreement with a target to conclude by this year. On infrastructure development, we agreed on the need to accelerate Japanese project investment in Indonesia, among others, the MRT projects, Patimban Port, and then also the railway from Jakarta to Surabaya. On the maritime cooperation, we agreed to strengthen our cooperation, particularly on the capacity <coughs> building, port infrastructure development, fisheries, and maritime safety. We welcome very much the signing of the exchange of note on the integrated marine and fishery center and fish market between Indonesia and Japan as a framework for cooperation to develop integrated fish market and fishing port for Indonesia Alter Island. The signing was just done after the bilateral meeting. Within the context of political and security cooperation, we agreed to convene the second 2 plus 2 meeting in Japan. The date of the meeting will be decided through diplomatic channel. Our discussion on regional and global issues was very useful and productive as well. I thank Minister Kono for Japan's support for Indonesia election as non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. Indonesia will use its time in the Security Council to contribute toward Asia-Pacific ecosystem of peace and prosperity. We also exchange of views on Indonesia concept and Japan concept on the Indo-Pacific. Minister Kono and I also share our views on the positive development in the Korean Peninsula, including the recent Inter-Korean Summit and the DPRK-US Summit. We will work together again to uh, see the development on the Korean uh, Peninsula. Minister Kono and I also agreed on the importance 
to continue to increase capacity building and development to support for Palestine under the short sort and triangular cooperation, which we will further discuss at the, incoming, at the upcoming SEPAC in Bangkok. So Minister Kono and I will fly to Bangkok to have the meeting, the third meeting of SEPAC in Bangkok in the 27th of uh, June. Lastly, on climate change cooperation, I'm pleased to note that our cooperation on through the joint crediting mechanism, GCM, has contributed to strengthen Indonesia capacity to mitigate and adapt to the impact of climate change. So it has been really a pleasure to see you in Jakarta, Minister Kono, and I would like now to invite you to deliver your statement. Thank you, Thank you very much. Let me start by expressing my gratitude for the heartfelt welcome for a minister Ritorno extended to me. We are celebrating 60th anniversary of our bilateral relations this year, and I am delighted to meet with Foreign Minister again at this historic Gudun Pancasila <laughs> in the Indonesian Foreign Ministry. This is such a beautiful and historic building. I'm honored to be here. This is, I believe, the third meeting between us. Uh, I think we got to do more often, and the Japanese foreign minister need to visit Indonesia more often, and I promise, as long as I'm a foreign minister, I would do that. Uh, we agreed to work together to expand our cooperation in many areas based on the strategic partnership between our two countries, which is a partnership built on shared values and strategic interest. Let me now give you a brief overview of outcomes from our meeting today. First, we will increase our maritime cooperation. This is very meaningful uh, for the strate strategy, strate strate strategies of both countries. Uh, namely, Japan's free and open Indo-Pacific strategy and Indonesia's global maritime fulcrum vision. We have just completed the signing of the exchange of notes on the program for development of fishery sector in outer islands. Japan will continue to implement the development of outer island as agreed in September last year. Second, Japan will support activities to counter violent extremism. Japan will provide assistance in the area of counter-terrorism as well. Last year, Japan provided a biometric security system in Glora Bunkarno Stadium for Asian Games 2018. Japan and Indonesia are now working together to organize a training workshop for relevant countries using this biometric security system. Third, Japan will help Indonesia develop infrastructure and improve business environment so as to attract more Japanese investment. We, have one, we, have, we are trying to increase the level of people-to-people uh, -people exchange to one million people both ways. Uh, we would like to promote tourism uh, further. Let me now focus in on the fruitful discussion uh, Minister Ritorno and I had on certain regional issues. First, we agreed to coordinate and seek synergy between Japan's free and open Indo-Pacific strategy and Indonesia's global maritime fulcrum vision and uh, Indo-Pacific concept. Second, regarding North Korea, we reaffirmed our commitment to the strict implementation of UN Security Resolution and to press North Korea for complete, verifiable, and irreversible dismantlement of all weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missiles of all ranges. Third, on the South China Sea issue, we once again agreed on the importance of ensuring the rule of law, freedom of navigation, and 
demilitarization. <coughs> Excuse me. Fourth, I expressed our congratulations on Indonesia being elected as a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. We confirmed that we would cooperate on various issues in the international arena, including in the UN Security Council. Especially now Indonesia is in the Security Council, we need to work closely on North Korean issues. Finally, I will visit Thailand to participate in the third ministerial meeting of CPAD, the Conference on Cooperating Cooperation Among East Asian Countries for Palestinian Development. We confirm that Japan as the host of CPAD's first ministerial meeting and Indonesia as the host of the second ministerial meeting would firmly collaborate in order to provide hope for Palestinians. I am looking forward to work together with Minister Ritorno, not only bilateral issues, but also for the stability and prosperity of our region and the world. Thank you very much, and thank you, thank you for your hospitality. Thank you. Thank you.